Welcome to the online orientation for the UW-Madison Leadership Certificate. During this orientation, we will discuss some of the background behind the Leadership Certificate, its connection to the UW-Madison Leadership Framework, the program components and requirements, how to get started, how to complete the certificate, and finally, we'll discuss the Anne Martino Women's Leadership Award. The leadership program reinforces the University of Wisconsin-Madison's commitment to developing student leadership capacity through intentional reflection and engagement in learning both inside and outside the classroom for the purpose of meaningful change. So why earn a certificate in leadership? Leadership is one of the most important skills to have to be successful after graduation. Employers are aware of this and seek it out. Not only does the certificate give you an opportunity to shine light on your past leadership activities, perhaps finding a place on your resume or as a talking point in an interview, but you will also learn and have opportunity to apply new leadership skills towards creating a meaningful change in your organizations, communities, and of course, your work. How will you see these benefits? First, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the UW-Madison Leadership Framework, which we will discuss in later slides. Second, you will become practiced in how to effectively self-reflect on your leadership, giving you a greater capacity to learn and grow. Thirdly, you will learn about your leadership strengths and areas you can improve in. And finally, you will be asked to demonstrate how you are applying all of these skills towards a practical purpose. And here you can see some testimonials we have received from the hundreds of alumni who have received the leadership certificate. Now let us review some of the history of the Leadership Certificate Program. The program began in 2002. It emphasized co-curricular activities, as it still does today, enhancing students' leadership experiences on campus. Twelve years after its conception in 2015, the certificate underwent a revision incorporating the newly developed UW-Madison Leadership Framework. Now grounded in a leadership model developed from the latest research in the field of leadership, as well as in the values and principles of the UW-Madison campus community, the certificate is more valuable than ever, and larger than ever, with over 500 enrolled students and over 120 certificates awarded annually. And you might wonder, what is the leadership framework? UW-Madison Leadership Framework is a leadership model which can be used in courses, programs, and other opportunities to foster leadership development on campus. It is the result of a multi-year cross-campus initiative called the Coordinated Leadership Initiative, whose purpose was to come up with a shared vision of what leadership means on the UW-Madison campus and to bring about positive change. The framework defines leadership as an action-oriented endeavor and not based on title or level of authority and that a leader understands the context in which they lead. Leadership is measured by the positive changes in an individual's, a group's, or a community's beliefs, values, or behaviors. The elements of the leadership framework are competencies, values, and outcomes, which we will talk about on the next slide. Here you can see the leadership competencies and values upon which the leadership certificate is based. The seven competencies help foster how to become a more effective leader, containing skills, abilities, and knowledge found in the scholarly research and other leadership models used to develop the framework. The three values reflect UW-Madison's history and mission, the Wisconsin idea, and help to answer the question of why a leader leads, with the purpose of creating positive change. If you would like to learn more about the leadership framework, including definitions for the competencies and values, as well as how they relate to one another, please visit leadership.wisc.edu. So how is the certificate tied to the framework? The certificate uses the framework as its curriculum, embodying the principles of what leadership means on this campus, incorporating the values and competencies into the written work, and asking students to apply what they're learning towards a positive outcome. Now that you have an understanding of the foundation and background of the Leadership Certificate, we can move into the components of the actual program. First, we will go over a summary of each step toward completing the certificate. To 
qualify for the leadership certificate, you will need to be either an undergraduate, graduate, or professional student in good academic standing. You've already begun your first step in the process by viewing this online information session. To begin learning about the leadership framework and to learn about which competencies you are strong or weak in, you are required to complete our online competency activity found in our online information packet on our website. Next, you will have to schedule an advising appointment with one of our advisors where you will discuss, among other things, the competency activity, answer any questions you have about the program components, including progress you have already made, how to submit your work, the review process, and enrollment. Once you are enrolled, you can start to complete the program components. You can go at your own pace in the order listed in our information packet. We recommend you take at least four semesters since it takes time to integrate the knowledge gained from the framework. Once you are completed, submit your work before semester submission deadlines on November 1st or April 1st. After the deadlines, there will be a three-week review process where you will work with reviewers to make revisions to your work and to get to a level we are looking for. Now let us dig a little deeper into the components of the Leadership Certificate. First, you will need to complete 100 hours of involvement experience, as many of you have already started. You will have to connect with a reflection partner to get feedback on your leadership. Then there is an academic course requirement three online learning modules, and two reflection components. Here's an overview of the three activity areas for which you will gain your 100 hours. They are organizational and group leadership, civic engagement, and trainings and workshops. The first activity area that we will talk about is organizational and group leadership. You will need a minimum of 30 hours in this area. When thinking about this, it is important to remember the idea from the leadership framework that leadership does not need to be a title-based endeavor. Instead, any position or experience that you have where you have been actively engaged with a group, organization, team, or community, and have had an opportunity to impact others or foster positive change. Some examples include involvement with ASM, ROTC, campus jobs, internships, involvement with the student leadership program. For more examples, you can look at our website. The next activity area is civic engagement. You will need a minimum of 20 hours in this area. This area, we are asking for volunteer and service work, both unpaid and non-credit. We also ask that a minimum of 50% of these hours come from the same organization, and a minimum of 50% of the hours must be completed off campus. Some examples include volunteering through Badger Volunteers, unpaid camp counselors, and tutoring at public schools. Again, for more examples, you can look at our website. Thirdly, we have the Trainings and Workshops Activity Area. You will need a minimum of 10 hours in this area. This can be fulfilled by attending talks, workshops, or conferences that promote growth in one or more of the seven leadership competencies. With new talks and conferences each semester, we do not have an exhausted list of pre-approved talks. However, we do have a list of reoccurring events, as well as a list of some campus organizations which often hold events which can count towards this area. A few examples are Adventure Learning Programs Workshops, the All Campus Leadership Conference, Merging Leaders Program, and workshops with the Gender and Sexuality Campus Center or Multicultural Student Center. Again, in total, you will need a minimum of 100 hours of work with at least some hours in each of these three areas. Since we know most students will work far more than 100 hours in their time at UW-Madison, we encourage you to report all of your hours. As part of reporting your hours, we have you write a brief reflection on your work using the leadership framework as a guide. The more time you spend thinking about and applying lessons learned from the framework, the more you will get out of the certificate program. An important part of leadership growth is learning from those who have more experience and soliciting their feedback. As such, we ask you to build a relationship with a reflection partner or mentor. This is someone to help you as you work through the program with whom you will reflect about your experiences and your essays. 
They could be a professor, advisor, supervisor, coach, instructor, or someone else you know and wish to build a relationship with. In addition to using the framework as a learning tool, we also have two educational components. We have you take an academic course and we have you take a series of online learning modules. Although the leadership certificate is not an academic certificate like most certificates on campus, there is still one academic component. We have you take a course with at least one credit which focuses on either leadership or global and cultural competence and to obtain a B or better in the course. You can see a list of our pre-approved courses on our website. Since there are new courses offered each semester, if you are taking or have taken a course that you feel meets our learning outcomes, also found on our website, there is a process to get new courses approved. Please see our website for more information on that process. The online learning modules provide an alternative source for leadership development. The online learning modules are TED Talks that have been chosen to foster the kind of leadership we are looking for from the leadership certificate students. For this component, you will need to choose three of the five online learning modules. You will watch a video or browse their website and then respond to the reflection prompt in a one-page response paper. And now we come to the heart of the leadership certificate, the reflection components. There are two parts to the reflection components, the competency essay and the leadership for change capstone. The competency reflection essay asks you to reflect on all seven of the competencies from the UW-Madison Leadership Framework. You will draw on all your experiences you have had as part of the certificate, your involvement hours, learning modules, academic course, and reflection partner discussions. We want you to demonstrate what you are learning about leadership from the framework and relate it to your experiences. The Leadership for Change capstone is the final component for the leadership certificate. Here you will apply everything you have learned to create a positive change in an area of life important to you. To do this, you will come up with a project or initiative, which we call the Positive Change Initiative, and either implement your initiative or make a plan about how you will. You will then present either an essay form or as an in-person presentation about your initiative and how you used your past experiences, everything you've learned in the program and from the leadership framework to guide the development and implementation of your initiative. You can find several examples of past positive change initiatives on our website. We will now go over how to submit your work and complete the leadership certificate requirements. You will submit your work on Canvas, much like an academic course. We encourage you to submit your materials as soon as you complete them, even if you plan to complete in a future semester. Remember, all submissions need to be in by 11.59 p.m. on either November 1st if completing in the fall semester or April 1st if completing in the spring semester. After you submit your work and after the November 1st or April 1st deadline, there will be a three-week review process during which reviewers will read your written components, give you feedback, and ask you to make revisions. You will receive feedback on Canvas, resubmit work there, and have any communications you might need to have with your reviewers through Canvas as well. It is important to make re timely revisions in order to receive the certificate since the review committee only does work during this three-week window. Since you will have to work with one or more members of the review committee, it might be valuable to know who they are and what they do. The review, review committee is made up of UW faculty, staff, and former leadership certificate recipients who have an interest in leadership. Their purpose is to support you to get the most out of your reflection pieces. They are responsible for reviewing the reflection components of the leadership certificate, including the online modules, competency essay, and leadership for change capstone. If you choose to do a presentation for the capstone, you will do it in front of several members of this committee. The rest of your work is reviewed by the leadership certificate staff. Lastly, let us talk about the Anne Louise Martino Women's Leadership Award. Anne Martino was an active campus leader who graduated from UW-Madison in 1988. She is now a successful businesswoman who considers the award a way of paying forward the encouragement and mentoring she received from outstanding UW-Madison deans and mentors. This $5,000 award recognizes a female identifying student who is both graduating and completing the leadership certificate in the same year. The application process includes a written component and a video submission. You can find more information online. 
The award application deadline is April 1st for both the students completing the certificate in fall and spring, and the application can be found on Canvas. That concludes the Leadership Certificate Online Information Session. If you have any questions, please email us at leadership at studentlife.wisc.edu or give us a call at 608-263-0365. Remember, if you are interested in enrolling, first complete the online competency activity and then schedule an advising appointment online. Thank you for watching.